All right. So uh, the materials for uh, to make a soil moisture indicator like this one is uh, first a LED light. You can see that the LED light uh, has uh, two rods and one is longer than the other. So the longer rod, uh, rod is the positive. We have a transistor. The transistor that we are using in this case is this one, the BC547 transistor. We are also using a coin battery. In this case, we have the CR2032 battery. The name is over here and it's a three volt uh, battery. And uh, we have uh, basically battery holder um, where we are going to make um, the entire sensor on top. Finally, we have um, for, for the soil moisture sensor, we decide to make uh, two use clips. Uh, this, is, this is one of the clips uh, already kind of extended, but we are going to try as well with some uh, just uh, regular wire. Well, the first, uh, the first uh, thing to do, uh, let's take the transistor, which is this one, and, and uh, move the the two external rods, one to the left and the other one to the right. So we are going to give uh, an order to this transistor. If you twist it, uh, you will see the letters over there. So the one that is on the right is going to be the E and the one that is on the left is going to be the C. So we are going to connect the C with the negative of, of the LED light. So let's put the transistor here and let's, uh, and let's uh, check with which one is the negative of the LED light. So the, the negative is the shortest um, soldering. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have it twisted. So you got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so put it here and then we are going to focus on the resistor. So the resistor literally resists energy. So in this case, we have a 470K. We are going to connect the resistor one through the positive of the LED and the other one to the B rod. So to the middle rod of the transistor. So let's do that. Okay, that was a little bit easier. <laughs> yeah, that one is easier. Now, here is the tricky part. So this is the soil moisture sensor. So these two rods or cables or wires or clips are the ones that are going to go uh, through the soil. So we are going to take the uh, the holder and the battery and just put the just put the battery inside the holder. It's a little okay. Yeah, it's on. All right. And before connecting anything, just make sure uh, which one of the cables is the positive and the negative. So. Uh, we are going to use the rest of this cable to twist uh, the positive here. I mean, let's turn it off for a second. Okay. Kind of around everything. Yeah. Get around all of it and then utilize the rest of your cable to secure it. Don't worry about the mess. I mean, we can make it as clean as possible, but we are not cutting much. It's like around this little joint. The next one is going to be to the E rod, so the left mm. one. That might be tricky for me. It would be tricky a little bit. I 
it should be on. In, in your case, use um, as comfortable as you feel. <coughs> Shut the battery like the Okay, key. and now you can hot glue. <laughs> or put silicone on the and the setting will be like this one okay. so when it's dry it's going to be like this one in this case uh, Caroline is making it uh, longer so you see the rods are way longer um, and these are shorter rods in this particular case you can see that the difference is bigger so we can make many depths but as shorter, um, as shorter their length, 